really uh, uh, numbers a match. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Kazuya and Link seems like something in a disadvantage for Kazuya solely because Link does have a lot of his projectiles that he's able to use to keep Kazuya, who is primarily a fighting game, actual fighting game character, uh, at bay. But right now, what, what's what's your friend's uh, Hugh? Hugh, right. Hugh. Yeah. Hugh. Yeah, like like H U E would be okay. how you pronounce it. So Hugh is out is out here, literally just making sure that he's able to. He's he's attempting to come in close, but Burst is not able to. Is just not letting him be, do that. Oh, keeping it off the ledge as much as he could, using that uh the bomb, not even detonating it. Ooh, this is something that go. Brett always does. He never de detonates the bomb, but I think he uses it more as a distraction, as a kind of a um. <gasps> that's, that's done. That's forty. Quick little forty percent. Yep. I think had that hat hit on the top platform, it would have been over for uh, for Brett, not gonna lie. Potentially, but yeah. Mm -hmm. This is, oh, there we go, that's death. Mm -hmm. I was gonna, this is the reality against Kazuya, is like, yeah, yeah um, Link is gonna be able to like throw boomerangs and such, and good, just raw run up. Uh, most people would have to jump in that corner right there. Mm -hmm. But um, back to what I was saying, uh, Link's, you know, obviously gonna be throwing boomerangs like we see right here in zone Kazuya out. The reality is Q needs to be close to Brett, possibly like two times a stock. Yeah. And it's just, um, that's the nature of Kazuya. He's kind of one of those characters that can always win because of how insane his punish game is. So Hugh's gonna be really have to be really on point. Yeah, agreed. And right now he kind of is on on his game when he gets those combos in and getting a bunch of damage racking up on Brett easily because Kazuya is just a strong and just he 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 really packs a punch with most of his attacks. And Brett kind of has to make a move and make sure he's not in that in that uh, death vicinity with Kazuya. Yeah, and missing a couple of electrics right there just gave like the normal uh, input. I don't even know what it's called. I, only I don't know, know what any of them are called. I, I didn't play Tekken. When God fist. Um, but yeah, missing the electric right there and now losing your rage drive. This is tricky because um, now you have to kill slightly more honestly. Wow. But honestly, any electric when God fist right here will combo into an up B as long as you read where they DI. Ooh. Or if you get your stock taken away and you lose your rage and just everything that Kazuya makes Kazuya so powerful. But honestly, still a pretty close game either way because as we know, Kazuya is just literally a devastating character and using the laser, try getting Brett off the stage, possibly doing anything to keep him off, but no, not quite. Ooh, this might be it! Stop. Yep. Yeah. That was important. You really wanted to close that out before like Link got his combo game going. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to start next stock at a disadvantage. Yeah, definitely doing really well right now for Brett. Uh, if he's able to keep up his momentum, he's, he, he'll be able to close out the stock and possibly even like the next uh, the next stock as well, the next game as well. If Bre if uh, he was able to adapt to the situation with a ranged character like Link. Yeah, I feel like Brett is just throwing out stuff even when Hugh gets close, and I feel like Hugh is not punishing it. The, uh, the electric one Godfist is invincible. You can straight up just go through these boomerangs that uh, Brett's throwing out. So I feel like Hugh is just a bit like not too confident in his inputs right now. I feel like he's kind of moving with far too much like scared. He's mo yeah. playing way too scared to be playing Kazi. You have to be like going. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that he was, he was playing very trying to play very sa as, as safe as he could because he was in like a, such a high percentage. Um, but the thing with Kazuya is that that's kind of where he shines. And, you know, the more rage he gets, the more powerful he is. And, like, it's not it's not hard to, you know, destroy your opponent with Kazuya when you're, like, literally so puff so buffed up with uh, with rage. So right now, are they going, are they going back to, to S uh, PS2? I didn't get to see. Uh, that seems pretty possible. Oh, I, I feel like, I know Hugh likes PS2. Mm -hmm. um, Running back do. with Kazuya. I mean, it's pretty even stage for both characters anyway. You know, platforms are good for Link, and uh, just the Ooh. ground floor is able for... Oh, they're going uh, Kalos. Yeah. Um, okay, so a little more space for Kazuya to kind of play around with and use his melee attacks much uh, much more efficiently than Link is able to, to use. Ooh. Yeah, and so... I was gonna say, the most oh. important thing about Kalos is it's flat. Mm -hmm. Kazuya's best stages are FD and Kalos because yep. your combo game like is tenfold better. You you really like you just saw right there. You touched him once and he died. Like there's no platform to save you from Kazuya's combo, so he can almost always zero to death if he gets you in a good spot. On top of that, landing becomes so much scarier because you don't have any platform to stop you from getting electrical and God Fist. So it's interesting because I feel like zoners will mostly not strike FD or Kalos because that's what they're so used to. But I think against Kazuya, it's honestly the play because it is so good for him. Yeah, definitely is a play. As you can see right here, he only had one, at 87% and Brett again at 9% one stock deficit and really struggling to close out the stock for Hugh, from Hugh. Oh, just barely missing the the, uh, the fair. And now the rage drive on deck. Oh, right there. Oh. That would have been the stock. Okay. Also He's trying to get stock. it. 
Right. Fish uh, trade a little bit, and these I feel like Q has been landing with these fairs, and they keep getting up smash. I feel mm -hmm. like Q would just benefit from just fast falling and shielding, like instead of trying to land with something, or Agreed. fast fall god fisting like that. That was a solid option. I mean, you can god fist on shield and totally like not to worry about anything. It's m mega safe. That was an unfortunate watch. The the upbeat not quite hitting, but again. Right now? Yeah, there we there go. We that go. Now he hit it. Uh, on the other platform, he did it kind of with it a little bit, but this time he was able to close out the stock and get Brett over to one stock, 0%. Really looking very precarious for Brett right now. He's not able to keep this Kazio off his toes. Ooh. Oh. Probably a misinput on that F smash, to be honest. I feel like that's the, um, for the most part, unless it's out of a combo. Mm -hmm. When Kazio's try F smash, you they mean to God Fist. But... Okay. Oh, this might be it for Brett if he's Ooh. not able to... Oh no. Missing the spike hitbox of that Nair. It's kind of tough to get the, those higher percents because you have to go above them first. So yeah. It's like really precise. This might be, yep. Just try, try again. Um. Told you guys, listen, don't, don't if you want to have any chance against a Kha'Zix, don't take him to Kalos or FD unless you know, like, you're also really good on those stages. Unless you're also Kha'Zix. <laughs> unless you're also Kha'Zix, yes. You know what? If you're also some kind of fighting character or you're just straight up another Kha'Zix, don't say Kazuya to say these stages. You can see literally the a difference between game uh, game one and game two. It was like night and day. Also, so yeah. oof. also some some personal inside info from knowing uh, Hugh. He mm -hmm. came in this venue saying I haven't played Smash in two weeks and my hands are cold. And that was ten minutes. That was like ten minutes ago. So I think he's uh, also warming up a bit. So I feel he's like he's literally warming uh, up yeah. as we're speaking. That's so evil. I could see game three. And even though we're going back to PS2, if he's like just feeling a bit more confident and warmed up, I could totally see this game going uh -oh. differently from game one. And all uh -oh. right, some confidence coming out right there with that uh, down B. Yeah, he's gonna want to stay a little bit more near to the center of the stage, only because one, the platform, there's no platform right in the middle, and he gives him a little more lead rate to catch uh, Brett when he's kind of trying to recover off from like an area or something like that. Ooh, that platform really catching Kazi in uh, in in Brett's uh, attack right there. Yeah, really. He, for this stage, you just gotta avoid these boomerangs that Brett's been landing, and I feel like Brett has like just been able to catch Hughes roll ins really well, and mm -hmm. Kazi has kind of liked to roll in because they're not that fast, like. He, um, so I feel like if Hugh could use that like invincible dash more, or just like be a bit better with his uh, god fist placements, he can avoid getting caught with those roll-ins. Listen, all he has to do is do a reflector, and then it will literally kill. Oh, you're done. Oh nah. no, okay, Link, no, you're not yet. Link's a heavy boy. <laughs> the tossing the bomb for me. Yeah, it'd be kind of funny if you detonated on <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it happened before. Oh. Uh, but right now, there goes Hughes' first stock. But honestly, Brent still should have to like take a like look out for his own first stock. Might be gone very soon with uh, with the way that Kazi just operates as a character and his mechanics. Yeah, but Hugh has to stop running into these boomerangs. Mm -hmm. And wow, still not killing. Still not killing. Wow. And He's not going to come back, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the bomb recovery. I completely forgot that's actually the thing that, that happens. I believe a up throw will kill right now um, with Kazuya. It's like a kill throw that like kills at really high percents. So something to keep in mind. Or just an LB. Wow, that's sent at the same spot at 180. <laughs> like, that, that move you could always combo out of. And then, as, as that's, his, that's Hugh's favorite thing to do, uh, you know, the up B uh, kill. I mean, it's a really pretty yeah, kill. I think it's super flashy. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's definitely like the most consistent option out of uh, out of Godfist for killing because you can usually react and like position the up B. In Completely the agreed. Yeah. And wake up and rage drive. What I say? Ooh. I should be playing Kazuya. Did, are, can your thumbs keep up? <laughs> That's the question. That's why I won't play Kazuya. My thumbs can't keep up with the character's move set. No, I, I cannot do that. I could but never. I knew what he was gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's close enough. You have the heart of a Kazuya, man. Yeah. Um. I mean, still not a bad situation for you in general. If he's. <laughs> oh my God. I, I, I'm gonna say it. I was thinking the same thing after that down throw. I was like, go for that smash. I was like, do it, do it. <laughs> but Brett, Brett was just a little bit, a little bit oh, off. Oh, is that? Yep. yep. Okay, yep. that was so huge. He was at. He was only at 60% when the start of that, and then Hugh managed to get a combo going. Oh no, oh and no. now, okay. With the like triple Nair thing, but um, still, finally having some momentum on his side. I can't believe that Kazuya's Nair spikes. I think that's so funny. Yeah. I think no. it's the only Nair that spikes in the whole game, but... 
right now, Brett really, really kind of looking dangerous right now. He's going to like at 105% one stock, and he was only at 90%, 124, getting that laser, not quite going to kill just like before. But what? Oh, is he going to try to read up? No, just Ooh, getting uh, like attacked from that. Yeah. Really smart of, on Brett to, to use that. Um, what was it? Okay. Oh. And Brett's bringing this back. Why am I so anxious? No way! Nice. <gasps> I that... first sure thought I was going to DI of that because Kazuya is pretty heavy, but nah, I think this I think PS2. The rage, yeah, the rage on Link. yeah, that was a really good jump catch right there because, I mean, w with Kazuya, you know, your biggest weakness is like how slow and sluggish you are. Like, mm -hmm. when Link has that bomb position right there, it covers all your options except jump for the most part. So, That's crazy. really has no other choice but to jump in. Great placement of there and a nice wings of fate uh, playing. Great song, but yeah, uh, yeah, tough stuff for Hugh. I mean, this is a uh, this Kazia, and it's kind of it's new, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's tournament new, and I think um, definitely like a bit of lack of confidence in punish game um, resulted in not being able to close out stocks sooner. And Brett was able to stay consistent the whole time. Like he always knew like when to throw out boomerangs and still caught huge jumps, especially like towards the end right there. Just totally <sighs> was aware if he was going to be the whole time. So that final just hit really hurts. Cause I was really, I really, was really thinking like, you know, Hugh had a really good lead on uh, on Link at 104% yeah, yeah. and he was only at 19%. But you know, Brett's also someone not to be like messed with. He's gone against the likes of like Dill and, thing, and people like that. He's so got wins on Dill? No, no, he's gone against Dill before. Oh, okay. And he's he's really good. Like he's gone through bracket, he's gone through a lot of bracket. Mm -hmm. So he's no one to be like um to like sneeze at, you know.